Welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, I am Freya, this is Budgie Budgets and today we are going to do a quick cash condensing. So I just want to pull, we put a lot of money into these binders uh, last week and or this week and I just want to get as much of that back to the bank as I can so that it's earning some interest and it's not in my house it just feels a lot uh, safer for me to do that so um, yeah we're just gonna go through so we'll be condensing using uh, placeholders if you like the vibe of these they are available in my Etsy store so we'll use as many of those as we can. We'll condense down as much cash as we can. I think I will even condense Monday minis so that I've got some fives freed up because that feels like it would be helpful. So let's get started. Um, actually, first of all, I am so excited, you guys. I'm so, I'm so nervous. I didn't mention this in any of my other videos because last last week on Thursday, so not this Thursday, just gone the one before, we, um, the kids and I were in the car and the radio station that we listened to were doing a competition for like to win, to call up to win a new car. Um, and you had to listen out for a particular song and call up when that song started. Anyway, that song came on. My son was like, oh, this is the, this is the song they were asking about. My youngest was like, oh my God, mommy, you have to call. And like, we call up all the time because we listen to this radio station in the mornings um, on the way to school. So we've like called up repeatedly to try and get Taylor Swift tickets. We called up to try and get Billie Eilish tickets. We've, we've called up all sorts of um, competitions that they run and never, ever got through. Uh, so my oldest daughter who was sitting next to me grabbed her phone and, and dialed the number and it rang and rang and rang and rang and rang and she was just about to hang, hang up and they answered. Um, so we got on the radio last week and we were, they were like, you're in with a chance. So, um, I filled out my details. They sent me a thing basically saying that, yeah, like the terms and conditions are that they let a whole people in with a chance. And then they picked 12 finalists at random and they were going to let me know if I was a finalist and I still hadn't heard anything. So I was like, oh, clearly I'm not a finalist. Uh, however, literally half an hour after I recorded my last two videos, I got an email saying that I am a finalist. <laughs> so I have a one in 12 shot at winning a brand new car. Um, so I have to be up insanely early tomorrow morning because I have to be at the radio station at 5.45 in the morning um, to be one of the people in this competition. So I will already know by the time you're seeing this whether or not I have won. You will find out. I think I'll upload this on Saturday. You will find out on Sunday. Uh, so if I'm really, really excited at the start of Sunday's video, it's because I'm about to tell you that I want a new car, um, <laughs> which would be just the craziest thing ever. So I'm super, super, super excited and so, 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 so nervous. Uh, going to something like this is so far outside of my comfort zone. Um, but that's cool. We'll go, <laughs> we'll go and we'll give it a shot. Um, now, subscriptions has 255. Now, for some reason in my account, for subscriptions, I actually only have $200 in there. I don't know if I paid for a subscription and I didn't like remember to take the cash out of here or what, um, but I am just gonna take that money out and leave 200 in here so that we're all square, um, so that I don't get confused in future cash stuffing. So water has 20, 40, 60, 80 in there. Oh, we can't do anything with that. We might come back. We might have to come back to that in a minute. Electricity has 100, 200, 20, 40, 50. Perfect. So we can get rid of all of these. We've got a 50 and a 200. Beautiful. And then we can go back and sort out water. So we'll take out... 60 and we'll put in a 10 and a 50. Yeah, so I have to go in and um, there'll be 12 of us and we have to pick a key and whoever's key, I don't know if it's unlocks the car or starts the car, wins the car. Um, so your gas has 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 
Beautiful. And 20. So we'll swap, whoops, swap that one over. Um, so yeah, that would just be terribly exciting. Uh, and, and a year's worth of free petrol as well. So I think you got like $5,000 in vouchers for um, petrol station. So I'm just, yeah, we'll just see. We'll just see what happens, <laughs> obviously. Uh, now, I, I'm actually going to uncondense this a little bit because I know I'm going to pay my son's um, recharge. So I'm going to put, what am I going to put in here? I'm going to put one, two, and three. I'm going to put the 500 backwards like that. Although I'm going to put them in there like that. Um, and will I leave that 50 in there? I think I will. Because I think I'll be taking out 160 for his recharge, if that makes sense. So we'll leave, so it's still got 200, 300, 400, 500, and 50 in there. We'll leave that like that, which is a bit back to front. But yeah, I know I'll be unstuffing it. I've got to recharge his phone tomorrow. Uh, so 20, 30, 45 in home. So we'll get rid of that. Why have I not got all of these the same way? I'm going to regret doing that too because I'll put them all in wrong. But anyway, uh, so that needs a 20 back. Yeah, so imagine. Imagine if I win a new car. I've never won anything like that. Like I don't I don't win giveaways. I was so excited to win the Budget Masters AU giveaway because I never win anything. Uh, so 20, 30, 45. Like I said, we ring up the radio station all the time. <laughs> all the time, all the time. Um, so it would really be something else. Uh, if we actually won something like I uh, the odds are pretty low like 1 in 12 is not um, it's not great odds but <laughs> I'll take it over nothing uh, okay and only 15 in buffer um, yeah it would just be pretty phenomenal I mean we wouldn't keep it uh, we would likely sell it and clear all of our debt which would be terribly exciting um, this has 150 this is car insurance 150 210 so let's leave a 10 and we'll put 200 in there yeah it'd be pretty wild also just like just to have just to have free fuel for a year look, would be such a huge thing um we spend so much money on petrol so uh 140 and 50 um so yeah it would just be really really awesome to to not have to worry about that expense for the whole year. Um, the kids are like planning wild things. Like um, my daughter's basically thinking that we can head off on an international holiday, <laughs> which like would be amazing. Our service has 65 and there's nothing we can do in there, uh, which would be amazing, but also um, would blow all of the money. So that would be a bit sad. Uh, license has 30 in there. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Either way, we get to go. I get to take my daughter with me. We get a free breakfast and coffees. Not for my daughter, obviously, but for me. <laughs> uh, so clues, nothing. She's nothing. Yeah, nothing. Skin care, nothing. Oh, gifts has only got 10. You guys, my daughter's only invited to another birthday party. So we have like another three upcoming birthday parties that I haven't bought presents for yet. I can actually not believe it. I just... I don't even know what to do with that. I feel so rude if I say that she can't go. Um, but like, oh my goodness, it's like getting to be a bit much, if I'm being honest. Okay, these ones are all already pretty condensed. Mojo, let's get some money out of here. So this has got 50, 150, 205. So we'll leave the five. Everything else can go. And we'll put, oh my goodness, all the kookaburras near my house have just gone bananas. <laughs> we live right near like National Park. Um, there's like a creek kind of at the end of our road and I film in the front part of the house. So um, yeah, you can hear all of the, <laughs> all of the wild animals. 
uh, doctors. This has a bunch in it. Uh, mm, I don't know whether to put that all back to bank. I think I will. I think I will, and I'll just deal with. I'll just deal with the um, needing to break it down, if and when I need to. So four hundred in doctors. Yay! I mean, hopefully. Hopefully that means we should keep, can keep some money in there for a little while. Uh, it's just 40 in medication, so nothing we can do with that. Uh, dental, oh, sneaky 100, come out. Okay, so dental has 50, 100, 150, 250, is that right? 100, 250, yep, so let's get rid of most of these. And we can put in a 200. Oh, I hope I don't run out of placeholders, actually. Yay. I still haven't booked my checkup yet. Uh, specialist has 50. That can go back to bank. 50 can go in there. Optical just has five. Skin check has 50. Someone else was saying, I was speaking to my... Uh oh, that's my last 50. Um, I was speaking to... Who was I speaking to? My auntie about skin checks. And then someone else commented below. So my aunt and uncle go and get theirs done just at their local GP. And it cost him like $150. And he's getting money back on Medicare. And then I think it was Laura in my comments said the same thing. Her husband went and got them at her GP. So public service announcements. Skin checks for people in Australia in particular are really, really important. We have really high sun exposure here. Um, the UV ratings where we are are very, very high. And skin cancer can be so, so deadly, but also so, so avoidable. Like if you catch them early, uh, they're treatable. So please go and get a skin check if you haven't already. Um, <laughs> saying as somebody who is way overdue for a skin check. Where my husband went is actually a mole mapping place. So they, they map your whole body. They take photos of everything. They keep it on file and then they compare it to and from. That is why it is more expensive. I do think it's much cheaper if you just go to a GP, but make sure there's someone who like does skin checks um, so that they know what they're looking for. Um, but yeah, so I'm a bit undecided whether or not I'm going to go and do the mole mapping thing or whether I'm just going to go to my GP and just be like, right, it's time for a skin check. Let's do it. It's not the most fun thing because like you get right down into your undies because they need to check everywhere. Um, but it's definitely important, especially as an Aussie. Get on it. Um, while we're here, I'm doing public health related announcements. If you are a woman who watches this channel, and chances are you are, because I think I'm pretty sure my male audience is very, very small, um, please check your boobs. <laughs> like maybe every time I do the boobies challenge, I'll mention, or I'll try to remember to mention once a month, because you should be doing it once a month. Breast cancer is another one of those things that when it's caught early, um, it, it can be treated. Uh, so check your boobs, check the lumps, do your little, you're supposed to check them every month. That's the rule. And while you're here, do your kegels, you know, why not? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> School has 50, 60, 75 in there. We're just going to change out those tens. Um, sorry, that was a bit too much for everybody. <laughs> um, but truly these things are important. And Look, I don't know about any of you guys, I go to the doctor frequently um, because I have to, because I have other health issues. Not once has she mentioned to me that I should have a skin check. Um, it's just something that I know because I have family history of skin cancers. So, um, yeah, but she, they don't mention it. They don't bring it up. You have to be proactive with your own health. Um, I think all love to general practitioners, general physicians, um, family doctors, they're wonderful people. They are overworked, I'm sure. And, um, you know, they can't think of everything all the time. So you need to be proactive and responsible for your own health too. So even if your doctor's not reminding you that this is something that you need to do, it is something that you need to do. Uh, so $90 in uniform now. Thank you so much for coming to my TED Talk. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, tennis has 90 and there's nothing we can do in there. Swimming has nothing, books has 50, that's already condensed. Photos has 15 and there's nothing we can do with that. Technology, however, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred and eighty dollars. So the 80 is staying. The 
Oh, I wish we could put that thousand in there. Have we got no 200 left either? Oh, one. One lucky last one. Oh dear, we're not going to be doing much more condensing from here, are we? Oh dear, I'll have to make myself some more prop notes. There we go. Holidays is definitely empty. My goodness. We have had fun though. We went to see Inside Out um, the other day. Inside Out 2, rather, yesterday. Uh, this has got 150, 70, 90, no, 150, 70, 80, 90. Oh, what a bummer. So close, so close. Although I don't have another 200, so I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was so good. It was so, so good. Uh, I had to laugh because we came out of it and um, my husband was like, <laughs> so is that actually what it feels like to have anxiety? He doesn't know. He never, he never experiences anxiety. I'm, I can be a very anxious person and um, my oldest daughter in particular has suffered pretty badly from anxiety uh, in the past. Um, but yeah, he was, he was, it was quite eye-opening for him. Uh, Family Funders has 10. Poor date still just has five. I will try and get some more money in there. It's very sad. It's been on five for like three months. Um, but yeah, it was a great movie. It was a really good movie, actually. All three of my kids really enjoyed it. And they're all like 14, 12, nearly 13, and eight. And they all loved it. So, um, and Hubby and I quite enjoyed it too. I feel like... I don't know, I feel like it addressed those issues really quite well. Um, Father's Day has just 20, that's already condensed. Halloween just has 10. And Christmas is all still in the Christmas binder, but hopefully not for long. Oh, you guys, I did. <laughs> I changed my Christmas envelopes. I'm so naughty. I kept the envelopes, like the backgrounds. I just, I didn't like that vinyl. Um, so I've changed it. I've also changed my trackers. Uh, cause I decided I wanted black and white ones. So they're the presents ones. Presents. Christmas Eve has little, little jammies, little reindeer food, cookies and milk for Santa and like little Christmas Eve box. I will get these up on, on Etsy, promise. Tis the season is just all different Christmas cookies for family. Naughty Elf is... This cheeky little elf. I don't know why. I think the coloured ones just felt a little bit too busy. Chris Kringle is just this little sack of prezzies. And what else we got? Oh, humbug. <laughs> that was my upset. My little upset um, gingerbread man. <laughs> so there you go. Um, I've completely lost track of what I was saying now. <laughs> well, that's probably nothing important. Uh, okay, so we'll take that 10 out of there. I cannot wait to boost these ones up a little bit. We'll take that 10 out of there. Oops. We'll take that 10 out of there. Beautiful. And then everything else in here is... I need to get these birthdays like for our family filled up. We've got quite a few in August and um, I just haven't had a chance. All of my gift money has been stolen by my daughter's friends. <laughs> Not stolen. I shouldn't say that. I love that she has so many friends and she gets invited to so many things. It's just, um, it's just a lot uh, and unexpected. I really want to know what, what, um, so winter has 20, 40, 55 in there now. So that's more than halfway done. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 in that one. I am just going to condense these all the way down to, um, I'm not going to put, I won't put placeholders, but I'll just condense them down where I can. Same with Mondays, mini Mondays. 100, 20, 30, 40, 50. I might regret this because I'll run out of change at 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, but hopefully I'll, I mean, look at this. I should have more than enough change anyway. <laughs> so it should be fine. Oops. Oh my goodness. 
making a mess okay so uh oh that was 50 wasn't it oh dear oh dear i'm pretty sure it's got 50 100 150 160 and a few budgie bucks we'll leave those obviously Let's see bubbly the game that loves to hate me it's got a fair stack of cash in it now. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Oh, rats. Uh, so we'll leave those at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 10 off. Maybe when we hit the 100, we should call this one done. Because it's just going to keep... It's just going to keep putting me in jail, you guys. <laughs> Okay, car alarma. Was that everything? Yes, got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 5. Okay, so let's leave a 20. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. Uh oh, did I do that wrong? 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. I did do that wrong. Okay, we need to leave a 10. Did I count that wrong the first time? 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. There we go. I don't know what I did. You lovely, lovely humans watching this will let me know, I'm sure, if I have messed anything up. I might put 100 in there because I know that's going to go to one of the car things. I'm not going to... I'm not going to play any allocation games or anything with it. It's just going to go straight to cars because I got our uh, registration bill, which is due mid-August, and it's much higher than I expected. I think what I'll actually do is just pay for three months, and then hopefully after that three months, I'll have enough to pay for six months, and then hopefully after that six months, I'll have enough to pay for the whole year. Uh, so block it has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Woohoo! Uh, let's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's do this. And then 20. Uh, I don't know why I don't want to put a hundred in there. <laughs> don't know. Oh, well. Um... Our hearts game has 10, 20, 30, and 40. I have a habit of, I have noticed if I'm counting 20s, then when I get to the 10s, I continue counting in 20s. That's probably what I did just before. Looks like my brain can't quite make the switch. <laughs> 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. Oh, deadly. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. We're going to have all these nice fives in here. Okay, so that one now has 95 plus some budgie bucks. Uh, roll it up. I don't think... I think we can just change a 10. That's it. And that's now got 30... $30 and some budgie bucks. Okay. Okay, that's that and then we are going to condense down mini mondays a little bit because i feel like these are getting a bit some of them are getting a bit hefty so 10 15 20 25 30 35 uh so 5 10 15 20 beautiful Ten, twenty, thirty, five as well. Oh no, I'm putting them in all different ways now, you guys. Oh dear. Uh, this one has ten, twenty, thirty, and fifteen, twenty. I should be using the icky twenties today, shouldn't I? I don't know why. <laughs> okay, this one's got 10, 20, 35. So, uh oh, what did I just do? 
brain malfunction. So 35 still in there, plus some budgie bucks. And this one, what have we got in here? 10, 25. I'm kind of have mixed feelings about condensing savings challenges because it's fun to watch them get chunky, but also 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Um, but also, it will be nice if I don't have to go back to the bank and get more fives. Really? Okay. There we go. I will also be doing my budgie budgets um, binder soon now. Because for those of you who don't know, when you sell on Etsy, they put a restriction on your account for the first little while. It's kind of like until you prove yourself like that you are going to send things on time and that people are actually going to receive their orders and things like that so for the first couple of months they hold a certain amount of your sales and it's like 30 percent of your sales um they hold on to it they don't send it out to you immediately that restriction on my account has just lifted um because i am at like 100 percent of on time and tracked uh orders yay um, so that actually means I have access to more money from them, like as it comes in, if that makes sense, because previously I was kind of spending nearly everything, um, on materials and things, uh, as soon as it came in, because that amount was being held in reserve all the time. So because that's no longer in reserve, I can actually stuff some cash. Having said that, I have just had to do a massive order for vinyl because you guys are keeping me so, 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 so busy. Um, that I have run out of vinyl again already. And last time I ordered, the lady that I buy from was like, woman, I don't have enough stock to make your order. So I'm hoping she has enough this time. Um, I have sourced somewhere else to order from as well, if needs be. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for all your orders. I am very, very busily getting them away. I sent out a heap yesterday. Um, got another couple almost ready to go. And then, yeah, then the newest orders, I'll just be waiting for that vinyl. But she usually posts same day if not next day and it usually gets here the day after that so it'll be all good let's see what we're sending back to the bank guys we've got 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 1000 1100 1200 dollars 100 20 40 60 70 80 90 100 200 300 400 500 60 70 80 90 100 10 20 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. That's 200 in fives. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. So that's 300. 5, 10, 15, 25, so 325. So we are sending a total of $1,955 back to the bank. That is chunky. Hang on, let's turn them around so they're all their little windows are facing the same way. Should we do a big fan? Oh, they're still not. What have I done? That way. <laughs> oh God, I don't know. Oh, well. Oh my gosh, maybe I condensed too much. Look at all those fives. Yikes. And I've got no 20s now. <laughs> oh well. Looks like I will be heading to the cash machine before my next cash stuffing anyway. All right, you guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Please come back and join me tomorrow for my budget with me and find out whether or not I want a new car. Who can believe it? Who can believe it? Not me. That would be so exciting. Don't worry, I'm fully prepared for the fact that I'm not going to win. It's all good. But also... <laughs> I've never been in with a chance before, so it's really, really exciting. 
Um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to leave a comment. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're so, so close to 400 subscribers, which is really exciting. At 500, I will do either another giveaway or upload a heap of freebies to my folder. I haven't decided yet. You guys have to let me know what you'd rather. Um, but anyway, I hope you have a beautiful weekend, the rest of it. And I hope you will join me tomorrow for my budget with me. See you then, guys. Bye-bye.